Let's talk a little bit about how to write effective vocabulary sentences for vocabulary research assignments. This tutorial applies to both English 7 and English 8 because both assignments end with the task of writing a sentence. Listed here. Use the word in at least one sentence that includes clear context clues. Refer to skill number four in the vocabulary skills primer. That refers to this section. In the bottom of the vocabulary skills primer, you will see skill four, sentence writing. This section of the primer gives clear detail with examples and analysis of how to write these sentences effectively and to earn full points. This is the same for both English 7 and English 8. I will not go into detail on each one of these steps because I expect that you will read this document on your own. This tutorial will merely show an example in action. Let's say we're using the word prejudiced. Most students understand this. It's an adjective and they know what it refers to. It refers to dealing with a set of assumptions when dealing with people. So you judge people before you meet them. Prejudging, that's where the word comes from. So I ask a student to write a sentence using their chosen word prejudiced. And I might see something like this. Is it a complete sentence? Sure. Does it use the word according to its correct part of speech? Sure. Prejudiced is an adjective, and in this sense, prejudiced is describing him. So it's being used as an adjective. Not a problem. Is it spelled correctly? Of course it is. So it's already met three of the criteria that we need. However, this sentence is lacking something. Many students lack this when they create the sentence. The this is context clues. You must imagine that you have no idea what prejudiced means. Does this sentence help? I don't think so. He is very prejudiced. Prejudiced can mean anything, anything at all. This sentence does not help me understand what it means. And you might think, well, it's clear, it uses it properly. That's only because you are assuming that your reader understands the word. Vocabulary sentences are supposed to show that the student understands the word well enough to help somebody else understand the word. In that way, the teacher can understand that the student knows the word. So let's worry about including context clues such that the student can show clear understanding of the word. That usually involves including some extra information. So think about this sentence for a moment. He is very prejudiced. Well, what does that mean? How might he be prejudiced? What actions might he be performing that would show his prejudice? How about saying that he is some sort of boss or employer that treats his employees differently based upon their race, gender, ethnicity, something like that? Let's be creative and tell a little story with the sentence. We shouldn't let the sentence get out of hand, but we can very clearly and quickly show what prejudice means. The boss acted very prejudiced by only giving raises to his male employees. This sentence helps quite a bit. If I had no clue what prejudiced means, now I understand. It means something about preference, something about taking a part of a group and privileging it over the other part, in this case male over female. This sentence is a better vocabulary sentence because it uses the word properly and demonstrates clear understanding of it. Be sure when you're writing these sentences that you clearly understand what the word means and that that sentence shows what the word means. And of course, don't forget, no matter what you write, to italicize the vocabulary word. This sentence is an effective vocabulary sentence. For more examples, go to the vocabulary skills primer you'll see examples of effective sentences with effective context clues here. Also, don't forget that on my big campus, other videos and help exist to fine-tune your sentences and make sure that they're effective.
If that's not enough, ask questions in class, take a look at the feedback on your assignments, or enter into my big campus discussions.